Hey Capricorn. So I have a special reading for you guys. Um, I started doing the mid-month check-ins and I did yours first and I did it in a bit of a different way. Um, I was just looking at the camera. I didn't really look at uh, project the camera towards the cards. Um, and I kind of want to keep things, you know, uniform as I normally do them, but also I don't want to let that reading go so i'm giving it out to you guys because also i feel like you got a little bit gypped <laughs> this month um unfortunately happy birthday to you unfortunately it happened during your birthday month but because i was working on the 2019 forecasts the six month forecast i didn't necessarily have time to do a full mid uh, full month reading so i am doing mid-month readings but you guys have this special one here um which is just an extra reading that i did i don't want to trash it i would i still want you guys to have the messages so for your birthday, as an apology for not getting out um, a full January reading for you, we have a special reading for you guys. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy. All right, so for Capricorn, Capricorn, we are in Capricorn season, so, uh, well, actually, we're going to be coming out of Capricorn season soon, but happy birthday to those of you who are Capricorns. All right, Capricorn, I'm gonna give you one more shuffle. Excellent. So let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. So let's see what we have for you here, Capricorn. Uh, Mid-January, we've got the Queen of Wands. All right. So um, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I would say Aries most likely as uh, the Queen of Wands does symbolize Aryan energy. Um, but it could be any sign. Or this just could be you embodying this energy okay so keep in mind guys i'm sorry i should have said this in the beginning but this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave what doesn't okay the energies can go either way this could either be you or it could be someone that you're dealing with that you're connecting with um but someone is pretty pretty fiery pretty passionate i feel a lot of passion a lot of um confidence um i honestly i really feel like this is someone that you are connecting with here capricorn it's someone who they may have fire in their chart um, in like a major placement, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Or this could be somebody um, that's just very confident, very self-secure, self-sufficient, um, very magnetic, is probably pretty magical. They could be someone that is um, focused in more of like the occult things because the cat here on this Queen of Wands is, uh, is uh, coming to attention here for me. So... Um, and the, a, a black cat does can symbolize magic, uh, witchcraft, that kind of thing. But it's nothing malicious. This could just be someone that is maybe a, tar, a, a card reader, a tarot reader, um, a Reiki healer, uh, anything that would really be like an astrologer maybe. Anything that could be uh, either occult, uh, somewhat occultish, they might be really into that thing. But I'm really getting a very independent energy here. Now, this also could be you, Capricorn. Don't get me wrong. This is a general reading, again. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Next, you have the Knight of Pentacles. And you've got the Ten of Pentacles. And, ooh, the Ten of Cups. So this, if you're in some sort of relationship situation, uh, I feel like things are could... Things could be going really well. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles here, uh, I feel like this is probably a new person in your life, someone that either you're approaching really slowly or they are approaching really slowly. I heard she is approaching really slowly. So that could be for some of you, uh, some specifically for like one or one of you or maybe a select few of you, you might be, um, you know, connecting with some sort of fire sign uh, potentially or someone again someone that's just very confident and charismatic and more leans more towards the feminine aspects of things or is, is very magnetic very much uses the law of attraction uh, a lot to get what they're looking for um, but someone is approaching really slowly taking it step by step methodically um, and is really looking to have you know somewhat of a happily ever after ten of pentacles and the ten of cups now this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship this absolutely can be um uh fine uh, a financial uh, work situation um and so some of you are really working now this is actually this is the biggest thing that i'm getting here for most of you some of you are really working on your finances you're really working on your um your career 
some of you may even be going in a new or a different direction than when you may that with the direction that you may have gone in the past um, starting something new starting a new venture but it's definitely something that's going to be much more emotionally fulfilling for you with this ten of cups here okay um, I feel like some of you are starting a new business going into a business for yourselves entrepreneurship of sorts yeah all right, so let's see what else we have here for you. Starting off first, yeah, definitely business. You have the Eight of Pentacles. So you're you're working really hard, and this is not something that's really all that foreign for you, Capricorn, to be quite honest. Um, you know, you, you're very much a hardworking energy. You tend to be very uh, uh, focused on your finances, on the physical aspect of things. You're very good at managing, or at least you have the potential to be good at managing things. So I really feel like um, in this, you know, the mid-month through the rest of the month, you're really working on building your business, building your finances, and all that stuff. After, especially after the holidays, you know what I mean? You may have spent a lot of money, and so you're probably really trying to stay on track with you know, replenishing and whatnot. You have the star also. So the eight of pentacles with the star. So I really feel like some of you really have, you have some sort of um, inclination towards or you're actually going to be starting your own business here. You may have started that already um, and you're working towards your goals, you're working towards your dreams and that's a really good thing. The star can talk about healing. Um, for some of you, there may be a situation with a work situation or a business situation in which there needs to be some healing. Actually, the, what that actually what's the, how that's coming through right now is what is saying what's being said is that um, you are redirecting yourself for some of you, okay? And there's healing coming into your into your world when it comes to it's almost like justice, you know. Um, you might need to do some healing, like from leaving a certain job, a business situation. Or the healing, it's hard to explain, but the healing could be in you starting a new business or going off in a new direction that's much more fulfilling for you. That could be, a, definitely could be a form of healing for you here. Uh, next set of surrounding energies for you, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah. So you're, so many of you, a lot of you are walking away from some sort of long standing situation and you're going towards what it is you truly desire. And that's beautiful. Um, that's really beautiful and there's definitely some healing that goes on goes through with this now I do want to I do want to point out that you have two eights here so far between the eight of Pentacles and the eight of cups oh all right so that's um, <laughs> sorry guys that is a lot of abundant energy so there is a specific message that's coming through here for some of you that feel uh, that you're kind of stuck caught in a lack mentality that is that could be something that Capricorn or even just an earth sign in general can get stuck in um, you're working through that you're working through that process and that could actually be what this healing that the star is talking about okay could be all right so yeah so i actually as i'm seeing it now a lot of you or whoever i'm channeling for in this situation that's resonating with this business situation here capricorn you are embodying this energy of the queen of wands because i really do feel like while you are taking slow and steady steps methodical steps towards building a business or uh, or revamping something going on some new venture um, you are working with the universe and the law of attraction to help manifest and bring things attract situations to you instead of really trying to do too much physical work to go get it you know what I mean and to be quite honest that actually is a much better way to manifest because the more you do potentially um, to make something happen that could create blockages instead of just allowing the universe to bring it to you and doing the work on an energetic level to like use to change your vibration and allow the attraction to happen okay eight of cups is coupled with wow the queen of cups so whatever it is you're walking from, oh, um, excuse me, walking away from, um, what this is saying to me, what the Queen of Cups is saying to me is that you're doing this out of compassion for yourself, out of unconditional love for yourself. You could be walking away from a water sign. Um, and the Queen of Cups is actually indicative of cancer specifically. And that is your opposite sign here. Um, and I believe that the... The North Node is in Cancer. The North Node of the Moon is in Cancer right now. So 
um, that could be influencing you to walk away from some long-standing situation that no longer serves you. Um, I really do feel like some of you have come to this point of being more in tune with your intuition, more in tune with what you truly want, what you truly desire, but also giving yourself that love to say, look, this isn't fulfilling, fulfilling for me. I want something more. And then giving you, not only are you accepting and acknowledging that, but many of you are giving yourself the space and the time to walk away and create something new, all right? And that's pr really quite beautiful. Your current challenge in these first surrounding energies here, you've got the Knight of Cups. Creative expression is what's being said to me here for that. Some of you might have someone that wants to come forward and, and um, uh, express their love to you, or you might want to come for, go move forward and express your love to them. Uh, but but the biggest thing here is creative expression, being uh, honoring your own creativity, honoring what it is that you truly want out of life, and going after it. Okay, uh, the Knight of Cups is coupled with wow, the Queen of Swords. Lots of Queen energy here. Um, and what I'm getting here is that you are cutting away anything that does not allow you to create to to express yourself in the ways that you feel best. All right, Capricorn. Um, and that actually falls quite in line with whatever what, what else we were talking about here. Um, there's a there's strong feminine energy here in you in this reading for you, Capricorn. And um, to me, that is indicative of the rise of the divine feminine. All right. So that's. That's a thing. That's definitely a thing. So your closing message or the potential outcome for these first surrounding energies, Capricorn, you have the Nine of Swords. So some of you are feeling a lot of anxiety surrounding what it is you're walking away from, what it is you're wanting to move away from, what it is you're wanting to change. But also a lot of this anxiety is coming from being in that position to begin with because you're not happy with it. Um, you want something more. You want something different. Stacey Orico's song, More to Life, just popped into my head. <laughs> Um, yeah, Nine of Swords is coupled with, wow, the Knight, uh, I'm sorry, the Page of Wands, okay? Now, the Page of Wands is about self-discovery a lot of the time. It's about up understanding yourself on a deeper level, understanding your passions, understanding your desires, wanting to move in a new direction, becoming inspired to move in a new direction, becoming inspired to create or to start some sort of creative project. I really feel like, Capricorn, a lot of this anxious energy that you are you are dealing with right now because this is more of the, this first row here is about the current energies going on. Um, so, sorry guys, I have fuzz from my scarf. <laughs> um, a lot of this anxious energy that you might be feeling has to do with this self-discovery, uh, this, uh, this new way of seeing yourself, new way of wanting to express yourself. But that, honestly, what you're feeling there is the tension towards um, the tension or resistance towards moving forward in a new life or in a new way. Even though you're a cardinal sign, Capricorn, um, you know, you're still an earth sign. So you do still kind of move a little slowly. Um, you're not you're not so willing to move towards something else if you don't have some sort of stable foundation within it. Uh, but sometimes you do have to just relinquish that control and allow the universe to just work on your behalf and just go with what you're feeling. Because if you're feeling all this anxiety towards, um, you know, what it is that you're realizing about yourself or your surroundings, your life, um, that's just a sign that there needs to be a change, really. So just go with the flow there. All right. So now this second row that we're going to get into is going to be upcoming. So like you were, you were just talking about what's currently going on for you. Upcoming throughout the rest of the month. Let's see what we have first set of surrounding energies You've got the three of cups and the first thing I heard was reconciliation. Okay, um, so Celebration joy uh, being social I really think that I, I really feel like towards the end of January You're gonna need a break. You're gonna need to spend some time with friends and family and just do that Um almost like recharge your batteries in a sense, like spend time with people that really refresh you, that help you feel secure or um, help light, lighten your spirits um, in that kind of way. Yeah. Uh, Three of Cups is coupled with the Ace of Wands. There you go. Now this is also, uh, the Three of Cups can also be a union energy. Um, so mind, body, and spirit coming together to uh, integrate into a deeper, uh, a deeper understanding of, of itself or of, the, of yourself. 
And through that, you're able to become inspired in a new direction. It also could be that your uh, uh, spending time in a social sense, uh, in a social setting, spending time with your friends and family. I feel like some of you are going to be getting together with some people that you may not have seen for a long time. All, if it almost feels like either a college or high school reunion of sorts. Maybe it could even be so far as to just be like old colleagues or old work coworkers that you that you guys, you know, you were really close at one point or you really had fun together at one point and you're just, you know, reconnecting and you, you end up spending time with. But either way, there's going to be some, I feel like there's really going to be some sort of social setting that's going to allow you to understand this new inspiration because you're already in a place of, um, self-discovery of understanding yourself on a deeper level and becoming inspired about something and that actually this anxiety surrounding this this new inspiration this new um, way of seeing yourself this new focus is not understanding how to do it not or or also feeling like you can't do it like you you're not capable of it you you know worst case scenarios it's just going to crash and burn but this is something that i really want to do don't waste your time with that. And I feel like there are going to be some friends around you that will help you really start to embrace this inspiration, this ace of wands, this new beginning, because this is a new beginning, creatively, spiritually, um, in expression, okay? A new beginning expression-wise. Second set of surrounding energies for the end of the month, you have the three of pentacles. Look at that. So so right now, in the current energy for you, Capricorn, you have two eights, the eight of pentacles and the eight of cups. And now in the upcoming energy, you have the three of cups and the three of pentacles. That's really cool. So we could be talking about a relationship. We really could be talking about a, rela a romantic relationship. Um, but mostly, this is pentacles energy. There's a lot of pentacles energy. There's also a lot of cups energy. But what I'm getting from the, the cups energy is that this is uh, emotional fulfillment that you're looking for here. Okay. And that's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. But the three of pentacles here is talking about entrepreneurialship for some of you. For others of you, it's also talking about the self mastery aspect of it. Uh, teamwork in the three of pentacles. Um, now, this Three of Cups, now in relation, now that I'm looking at it and I'm seeing this Three of Pentacles energy here, this Three of Cups could be celebration or coming together like team members coming together to now start a new venture. That's really cool. Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Emperor. All right. So this is Aries energy. Um, but this is also the boss. So you could be entering into a situation in which, um, you know, you're starting a, a, an entrepreneurship and uh, venture where you're the lead, you're the head, the boss, you're the, the CEO, whatever, or you're starting a new business and you're fully in control. But I definitely see you taking your power back in a very strong way. Okay. Taking your power back, owning your domain, owning your, 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 your experience, being strong, headstrong, and moving forward in a, a positive and confident manner. Okay. That's excellent. So the, ch the upcoming coming challenge for the end of the month, you've got four of wands. And it's interesting because this doesn't feel, this shouldn't necessarily feel like a challenge. The four of wands is a really great card. It talks about union, uh, union. It talks about balance, stability, um, foundation, good foundation being laid. I guess, okay, so the main challenge with the four of wands is that, um, you know, this could be cause for celebration. You could be off to a really great start, but this is not a cause for um, resting on your laurels. There's still work to be done. So there might actually be some sort of impetus to like Maybe slack off a little bit, which is hard. For, which is hard for me to say to a Capricorn because I feel like Capricorns are really hard workers all around, in general. Um, now, also the Four of Wands in the challenge section could be laying the foundation, getting the foundation down, because I do see that there is a brand new start that you're embarking on. Um, so. 
getting to a really f a stable point, it might be challenging, but it's nothing you can't overcome. Four of Wands is coupled with Six of Cups. Nostalgia, reminiscent, uh, reminiscing about the past. Interesting. We've been talking about finances a lot and what I'm seeing here is could now this really could be uh, for so, those of you that are connecting with a soulmate because the six of one, uh, cups does talk about a soulmate the four of wands is a uh, uh, can talk excuse me it can talk about union sorry guys I, I'm, I'm channeling here but for some of you the challenge is having a focused foundation with a soulmate Now, in terms of this business venture, you guys could be working with soulmates of some sort. Now, these are now, especially if a soulmate could be really be anything. They don't have to be a romantic partner. It could also be someone that is just like a, a business partner or that kind of thing. OK, so. All right now. OK, it's really coming through here. So with uh, this business venture that you might be embarking on or whatever, whatever new thing that you're 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 starting um in which you could be working with teammates or whatnot or whatever it is i feel like there are going to be some soulmates that come into play that might want to take advantage of you know the past that you have with each other and might might want to take get over on you in some way and this is not something that i'm thinking is malicious it doesn't feel malicious but it's some it's like you have you're gonna have to lay down some barriers in understand and letting them understand like look yeah you know you might be family or you might be a really good friend but this is my business here you know like come on <laughs> that kind of thing okay also this could be something that you wanted to experience um as a kid like this could be a long-term dream that you've had as a child or maybe just as a young adult a teen whatever or just earlier in life than the current earlier than the current moment i'm saying and so now something just something from the past that now you're working on getting the solidity or the foundation in there all right uh put the final potential outcome or a final message here for the end of the month you have the knight of swords a lot of communication potentially but also a lot of movement like not fucking around not wasting any time like going and getting the, the shit done um, for some of you, this really is, commu I'm seeing communication with others, maybe some investors, uh, potential employees, something like that. All right. Um, and trying to figure out how to get this business off the ground. I'm feeling like this is really nice. The Knight of swords is coupled with, Ooh, the four of cups. All right. Very interesting. Um, the Four of Cups with the Knight of Swords is an energy of, yes, unrequited love for some of you. Interesting. I really feel like what you could be offered at this point in time, um, some of the suggestions, some of the offers, some of the communication that you get at this moment, um, I. I, I don't I'm sorry guys I'm going off on a tangent I don't know why I recorded the video this way but I'm gonna turn the camera so you guys can see the cards especially since we're at the end of the reading here but um, for some of you this is it's like it's almost as if the offers or whatever the potential offers that could be coming in you might not be thrilled with you know and, and for some of you some of the employees that you might have or these people that you might be embarking on this new job or this new venture with they might be bringing forward ideas for you that are just like no i just mm -mm. no i don't want to do that it's that kind it's 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 that kind of energy um but i don't think it's anything that can't be worked out to be quite honest i feel like i feel like you guys just need to communicate about it Honestly, you just need to communicate about it and um, and talk it out. Allow people to, you know, share their ideas. 
but be careful pick your battles wisely here like don't go you know tearing someone down you know what i mean like communicate wisely about it honor people's opinions and you know make an executive decision sure but you know that sort of thing all right so now we're going to get into the oracle guidance here for you guys for capricorn for the month of january sun moon rising in venus all right one more shuffle here all right, Spirit, best messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the end of January, our mid-month check-in here. Here we go. Support. Yes. Underneath the deck, you have past lives. Okay. Um, release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will release, will raise your vibration. So I do feel like some of you are working in a situation in which you are soulmates. Um, you could really be connecting with somebody. Um, this is a general reading. So even though I was getting mostly, uh, pentacles situation, some of you might actually be, actually be dealing with a soulmate. Um, but I feel like whoever it is you're working with, or could be working with are definitely past life soulmates situations okay you have some sort of connection you may have even worked together in the past um in a past life like you don't have to have been romantic soulmates you could have been business partners in the past support ask for help get more rest nurture yourself you really don't have to go go this alone and i'm already feeling like for some of you this is an energy of um like you you want to go so you want to do something new but you don't really want to necessarily bring in other people because you'd rather just do it on your own um and you don't have to do that okay ask for help ask for support because you don't have to do everything alone and this also could be asking for support from the angels and all that from the universe from god wh whoever it is you resonate with all right, Capricorn. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you are, if you would like a, uh, sorry, my phone is going off the hook. If you would like a, um, uh, a personal reading, go ahead and email me. I am available for those. Much love to you guys. Uh, happy birthday to those of you that we, that have had your birthday. We are moving out of Capricorn season soon, but much love. Take care. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah. Bye.